Hello, I'm Mohammed Imam, Technical Marketing Engineer at Cisco. I would like to give you a brief demonstration of Cisco MDNS Service Discovery Gateway, or SDG for short. This feature is also sometimes referred to as Bonjour Gateway. The feature is now available on Catalyst 3850 starting iOS XC release 3.3.0 SE. Service Discovery Gateway enables zero-com devices, or as Apple calls it, Bonjour enabled devices to access the services that are available on a different subnet. As you might already know, zero-conf devices announce and discover on the local subnet and cannot cross the L3 boundaries. That means if you have services and clients on different subnets, you need a feature like SDG to learn the services on one subnet and advertise them to another subnet. SDG also allows you to filter and redistribute services from one L3 domain to another. Now let's get it started, and I'll demonstrate how to enable SDG on Cisco Catalyst 3850 switches. I have a simple setup where we have Catalyst 3850 with an access point and an Apple TV. The Catalyst 3850 is running in a converged access mode. That means in addition to the wired capabilities that it has, it is also running wireless LAN controller functionality. We also have the wireless iPad connected to the access point and a TV screen which is connected to the Apple TV. Now to enable SDG, it's very simple. We just have to execute one command. However, before we do that, let's make sure we are running IP routing and IP multicast routing. So let's go to the screen on the Catalyst 3850 and do show run include IP routing. And that's there. So let's also make sure that IP multicast routing is also running. Show run include IP multicast. So the IP multicast routing is also running on this switch. Now to run the SDG, just go to configuration T prompt and do service routing MDNSSD, and that enables the cache and the proxy component on the Catalyst 3850. However, by default, all services are denied in and out of the cache. If we look at the MDNS cache at this point, we will see no entries. So let's verify that. Show MDNS cache, and there are no entries in the MDNS cache. Now to allow or permit services in and out of cache to different subnets, we will create a service list MDNS SD. This is similar to access list. So we will go back to the configuration prompt. So let's do service list MDNS SD permit all is the name of the service list. And we will say permit and the sequence number just like access list, which is 10. In this service list, we are trying to allow everything just for the demo purposes. So we will say match service type dot star. At this point, we have created the service list. Now we'll have to apply that under the service routing instance. So we will go back to the service routing MDNS and we'll apply the service policy. Service routing MDNS SD, and now we will apply the service policy.
service policy permit all and we will mention the direction in and we will allow it in the out direction as well. Now that we have applied the service policy, the cache should start to build up. So if we go out and look at the show MDNS cache, we will see the cache entries. So let's look at show MDNS cache. And now we see all the entries that are populated in the cache. To verify that it is working, we'll, let's make the iPad screen reflect on the Apple TV. So we, I'll go in the Apple uh, iPad and just mirror the screen on the monitor. And now you should see the screen on the Apple TV. As you can see, Service Discovery Gateway provides a simple way of advertising zero cost services from one subnet to another subnet. SDG allows you to filter services on different criteria, as well as allow you to redistribute services from one SDG enabled device to another. For more information on Catalyst 3850 switches, please visit cisco.com slash go slash 3850. Thanks for watching.